So here we're, we're going to use the five-point scale Zimpro locomotion scoring. And so we have in front of us here is 2873. She's a first calf heifer. You can see she's relatively straight uh, backed when she's standing there. Uh, and so score one would have a straight back while standing, and then once she begins to move, uh, her, her back remains straight. And you can see as she moves, it, it, it re remains relatively straight. So that's a score one, okay? Uh, if we look at this big black cow over here, when she is standing, her back is relatively straight, okay? Really actually a little nicer than this other one, but it's relatively straight, but as she begins to move, she begins to arch her back. And you can see as she comes around here, she'll begin to arch her back. And so score two would be a straight back when standing, but then she begins to arch her back while walking, score two. Score three would be, excuse me, this big spotted cow here, 2652. She's a a little bit arched while standing, and then when she walks, she arches, especially in the front of her back. Um, so she would be considered a score three locomotion score. So arched back while standing and arched back while moving, score three. Locomotion score four, the obviously if you look at her, she has an arched back, whether she's standing or not. And then if we get her to move, we can see on this right rear foot, she has some reluctance to move there with that right rear and she maintains that arch back and she doesn't want to set her foot down very well. Um, so it's obvious lameness here uh, on the right rear and so this would be defined as a locomotion score four. Um, and a score five would be a cow that would not be able to get up or will not bear weight at all on a limb. You say, well, what does that mean? What, what should we do about it? Um, so if we go on to a herd and they have 90% of their cows are score ones and score twos, those, that would be the goal in the Zimpro system, uh, is to have 90% of your cows either score one or score two. If your herd is less than that, then we would want to address issues such as footing, uh, foot baths, uh, hoof trimming, um, genetics, uh, the foot trimmings, how often uh, when you're doing them. So uh, an ideal situation and what we're doing here at Foremost Dairy is cows get trimmed at dry off and they get trimmed mid lactation, 100 to 150 days in milk. And those are maintenance trims. And I think now through culling, through increased maintenance trimming, through genetics, uh, we pretty routinely will have uh, most of the cows meet that 90% score ones and twos on the Zimpro system.